Without any further ado, I'm going to apply LFO1 to oscillator one position. And I think I might want to apply it to two position as well. So let's go to LFO1 and I'm going to turn the re-trigger off and let's get it synchronized here. So it's a little intense, which I could adjust by bringing these amounts down. Or I could adjust the overall amount here. Now it's too much right away, so I'm going to put an attack time on there so that as the note's held, we're getting a little more intensity on there. Now I think it might be interesting to have that same LFO controlling something in the stereo field. So I'm going to adjust the panning of the oscillators and do a similarly inverted modulation assignment with that same LFO. So as the wavetable positions are changing, they're also moving from one speaker to the other. Now, I think being a pad, I don't want a whole lot of low frequencies here, so I'll put a high pass filter on here. And I think I want to apply an envelope to it. Now, the last parameter I selected was the resonance, which is not what I want to control with the envelope. What I want to control is the frequency. So I'll adjust that and then apply. Envelope three to it. So now we've got this nice slope, it's a little long, maybe. 1.5 second slope. For the filter to go from peak value down to specified cutoff frequency. So it's subtle, but it gives it a little more movement in the frequency domain. And then, I think I'll bring down the overall envelope amount just a touch. In fact, I think it might be a result of the position of the second wave cable just sounding a bit too, too gummy for me. Now, we talked about the release value, and by increasing it, when the note is released, the filter will sweep back up at the end. Give it a little longer time there. And I'm adjusting the sustain percentage of that envelope because I don't necessarily want it to dip all the way down to 412 hertz. Finally, I think this might sound good with some unison on there. The noise unison really giving a lot of airiness and breathiness at the top of the uh, frequency spectrum. And I wonder if it might be interesting to have a bit of an attack for the onset of that unison amount. So now let's apply envelope two there. I'll bring the sustain value all the way up. So 
So now the unison, rather than starting right away, is fading in along with the envelope too. Subtle, but adds a little more dynamic movement. So I think I've got a sufficiently moody and dynamic pad, and we can start moving on to looking at creating some other sounds with Wavetable. <laughs> 